you out of here. What's up, everybody? Car Fight King here. I'm here with my friend, my boy Mitch from who? B4G. B4G, and he won our store championship with SetCon because he's Dr. Security Control. I am. So he brought SetCon back for BT10, and he's going to show us his deck. Yeah. Let's get it. Look at that map. You get yeah. that in the B4G tournament if you go into the Discord. I'll have their Discord link in the description as well. Yeah, no, it's a fun tournament. A lot of good guys run by a great team. So I'll start with the eggs. So I play four Big Simon. And then one Upamon, just because you never want to be in the situation where you run out of a yellow color. Um, it's a purple-yellow security control, so you need both. Um, Viximon is great because you use the Salamon. I'll just get right into it. For Salamon, you can use the Salamon for a lot of things. Um, recovery, obviously. Vixie draw power, and you just kind of chip away at people's security, so it's nice. Gives you the draw, rookie, and then the Upa is just good in general because you're constantly at three security in today's meta. Um, it's super aggressive, so always being able to draw a card is nice. Um, Salomon jumps straight into the fives. I don't play fours. Uh, I play four Maycrack. Um, Obviously, since it's purple, yellow security control, Hellscythe is one of the main options that I use. Um, Maycrack is great because I also play Mako, and I'll explain that when I get to the Tamers. Um, next is 4 Magna. It's the staple of any security control deck. Uh, Magna Angemon is the... Yeah, he's the mascot for set control, pretty yeah. much. Um, I play two Maid Mode and then two Venus Mode. Look at um, all the alt arts. Yeah, dude, I love alt arts. I think they're super cool. <laughs> so I definitely bling this deck out. Venus Mon is great because um, when digivolving, it's Holy Flame out of security. It's just a blanket effect. And then it can't be attacked, um, at least for that turn or whenever a Digimon on the opposing side has a security attack modifier. Um, cancels out all when attacking and when digivolving. It literally gives you another turn. And for Setcon, one turn sometimes is like, it's just more than enough. So that's why I play this. And then I'll explain maid mode in a little bit, but she came up real clutch as well. Um, I play three Death X because it's Death X. Um, yeah. Why so not? against Shoutmon, Tamers all over the place. So it was super, super great. Um, two would have not been enough, I feel. Uh, so three was good. I play one Susano Mon because Susano is amazing. Um, he's just super aggressive and goes on top of all my sixes. I run two more sixes of Avenge Kid and Juno Mon just because that's just a great package for any purple deck or security control deck to be able to get your Digimon back out. Say Avenge is in security, you Juno, you get it out. You need your Death X in a pinch, you Juno, you get it out. And then Susano can go on anything. Um, and if you balance it with the reinforced memory boost, you usually pass over like two or three memory and you can swing next turn if they don't have an answer. So that is all the Digimon I run. Uh, not many, but enough for sure. It's actually probably more than other lists. I think it's more aggressive, this list. Uh, options, I play four Chaos Degrade and four Hellsight because they're just, that's purple yellow security control. That's why we play purple yellow. It's for these eight options, or these two options. Um, unstoppable. It really can change the flow of the game in a heartbeat. You get your Magna out, which is nice. You get your Maycrack out uh, with Hellsight, and then Degrade is Degrade. I don't need to explain that, I don't think. Um, I do play two of this new option, Lonke Adistacto, I think. Um, it's another Chaos Degrade when you're down to three security. It's really good. Uh, also, it gives minus 12 if you're exactly at three. You can do both, which is nice. Um, if you have more than three, it's like a smaller Wyverns, but it's still really good. Uh, out of security just activates its effect, so it's great. I run three Holy Waves, um, just for the constant pressure, which is you need to recover, basically. Uh, and Reinforced Memory Boost, it's restricted. You gotta run it because it's that good. Um, and then, so those are the normal options that you probably expect. And then the Maid Mode combo that I wanted to explain, I, I run two Holy Flame. I'm oh, sorry, three Holy Flame and two Tactical Retreats. 
So basically what I do with these is made mode lets you play an option on Digivolve and then that option goes into security right after. So if you hell psych, bring out mate crack, and then go into your Sakuya, you can use Holy Flame and then recycle the Holy Flame and use it. Or sometimes you have a Salamon and Raising and you can tactical retreat the Salamon, for example, and then tactical retreat goes on top, so you essentially recover three times. It's pretty useful, it's come up great, um, especially against the Shaoman deck that I played, it was really useful. So yeah, it's great against decks that put a lot of pressure on you, like Jessmon, Shaoman, it's very nice. Um, I play four Mako, and then three Mimi, and two TKs for my Tamers. So the four Mako is like, I call this deck Mako Control, because Mako lets you get May Crack out for really cheap all turns. If May Crack comes out, you can tap this and gain a memory. Um, originally, I wanted to replace Jet Sylphie somehow to get to a, a, a five fast, easy, and cheap. And this is the best way, um, for me at least. So it was really nice. Um, and if you hit Hell Scythe and Security and May Crack comes out, you can tap these and you can end your opponent's turn. It's pretty useful. Um, and then it's great search power for security control, which it's usually lacking. Um, it trashes. It trashes everything that's not a yellow or purple level 5 or lower. So I can grab May Crack with it, I can grab Magna with it. Um, it's just really good, and then usually you're trashing options, which are fodder for your Avenge Kit. So it's really nice. Um, Mimi is Mimi. Just good to just punish your uh, opponent for playing an option. And then TK is what changed this deck. I used to play Kari, but it wasn't enough because I play a lot of Digimon, so my security often had Digimon in it. If you play TK though, you can recycle that and chances are you're going to put an option in it most of the time. So that is that, and then yeah, that's the, that's the full deck. Um, my matchups were, I played, what I play? I played Shoutmon first round, I played Armor, I played Jessmon, and then I played Armor again in the final. All four super aggressive decks. Um, this deck really stood its own. Like, it, it held firm though, and it recovered a lot, which was useful. And yeah, it ended up winning me the tournament. So it was a lot of fun. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out through uh, Clay's video. I would definitely be happy to talk shop. Or hop in the Discord. Or hop in the Discord. And I'll post B4G gaming. Discord, and you guys can talk and play tests and add questions below. But thank you, Mitch, for the profile, and yeah. we will see you guys next time. Nice, Clay. Deuces.